stays alive for the big win here and ultimately the world title. Having a look at match number four, we'll see John Michael Van Hohenstein, Johnny the Ripper, as he's known, taking on a very much more experienced Hawaiian in the form of Kai Salas, who came in here ranked fourth. He came in with the world title, though. He is a defending champ and he has been quietly... Just kind of smouldering away through his heats. White Waters, let's have a look at the work he got done. Yeah, nice opening nose ride. We know that he's uh, super adept on the nose. But this drop knee wraps, it's been a trademark of Johnny since last year. Really came to his own at this event. Gets really low and, and that Mark Liddell board, it pivots on a dime and it allows him to then use the rail. It's a unique scenario he's got. He's got a wide tail and a big chop square. And he gets really low and pivots back to the pocket. And he's able to turn in a tight radius. So this wave really tapered off. And he got a series of maybe five or six nose rides through the inside. Delicate footwork. And there was nothing really of substance through this inside section. But he just surfed it through so he could run around and paddle out through the channel. That would be a, uh, a medium score just to get things started. All the way through to the inside. He wanted this wave pretty badly. He wanted to get going as well in the heat. Well, he's done that here. We'll just watch him finish off and some quick footwork on that inside section. Then he ran down the beach a bit. He's made, he has been on all of the bombs in the free surf throughout the week and a concerted paddle effort gets him going and then straight up and a high line, pretty critical as he's on the nose and he's so paused. They just tighten things up, some footwork back. And then there's that trademark, just powerful swoop, just checks it. He keeps everything real clean and dialed in. Another little check turn off the rail from him. He'll come through to this mid-section of the waves. Some footwork up for a quick touch of the 10 as well. And then this section here, a little slopey, a little snap that one. Just quickens up the turn as he's going through that maneuver on the rail. And then a little pump gets those arms going in front for the momentum down the line because he's got this section right here. And he would have loved to get a bit more time on the nose through there. But in the end, it's just a kick out tricky wave to surf and I felt like it was good that he stayed on his feet but Johnny answer back here he goes a really nice position as he comes from behind that peak kind of backdoors that section 717 is opening number some energy for him now he's out the back and he's gliding in straight up to the tip there's a 10 nicely controlled a critical steep section there's the float and good spray and power from that carve as he just flows through another section some white water there and then another really nice swooping carve off the rail just down carving it just to stay in the right part of the wave and it, nice and glassy on the face again he'll just s through here and be pretty patient and cruisy once more just displacing some water and a nice clean face in here the contrast with johnny who had to go all the way back in and kind of go back the other way the momentum will remain heading down the line and he's good enough with that momentum. A bit of variety goes up, gets all of that board up into the lip. That'll feel good. Absolutely. You can see his body language when he came down from that searing calves there. Great technique for Kai using the full length of the board. And we have a look straight up on the nose. Gets that hang 10. Steps back to the middle. And this carve here and walking straight into this, that transition. That there is traditional longboard surfing. Using the full length of the board, linking together with the footwork. That's the flow. I mean, power is not in the criteria, but Kai is exemplifying that in a smooth way, and it's critical when he lays it on rail. You know, power is not, but rail work is, and just a cool pace, not doing any maneuvers that don't need to be done. And, and it really arcs back to the, the original competitive surfers where they started surfing Paul with a perfect wave. And it was up to them to maintain the score. Just over six and a half to go in this. A little bit of energy standing up on the outside here. And some energy. Johnny the Ripper straight up. Nicely done. Look at that. As we'll go with speed. Absolutely flying through that section. Good control. There's that whipping turn as he just jams it in the pocket. Now the white water all around him. He'll clean that up and come through and just flow to another nice section here. Again, carving very clean. Gets a little rebound off the white water. And then applies that back foot pressure on the tail block, drops the knee, swoops around. Then he puts his arm in the face and some nimble footwork up for a quick touch. And again, he's in motion here, all action all over this way. Good amplitude to the surfing, drawing off the bottom, going into the high line. He's got nose to tail. He's gone through multiple sections. Not a lot of downtime in this wave. 
But is it an excellent number? We've still got some more surfing to do. Some footwork again up for a quick nose ride again another quick five a finish will be crucial here and he'll poke it up and he'll get the completion so that was the most dynamic finish so far for johnny great surfing from the outside judges go with it but this technical nose ride to get things started quick footwork and uh, just goes back into a, a wrapping carve there searing and he lines this one up here and i really like the use that he's able to really put that big wide square tail to action here where he pivots it around tight arc into the foam and it sets him up for this next bowl section wraps that comes back around with the footwork and he's able to get there snaps it forward goes to the nose so that big wide square tail allows him to do that and this brings it all the way around that's the form we saw him uh, get a career best result here last year I think the judges will appreciate it but the speed the flow perhaps a little disrupted 8-5 is the number that needs to go to first. He will get his high score for sure. He's going to beat his 5-5, five five, which means he will bring his requirement down. Even if he isn't going to get that excellent number, we'll see with the judges. He may well do, but if he doesn't, it will make his job easier. Time not entirely on his side. Just making sure. What he doesn't want to do is kind of left. Maybe the wave backs off a little bit and be left on the shoulder just watching as Johnny surfs. So, And he'll go, you know what? I don't think this one's a 7. He'll just let him go, actually. And this wave will be one of those softer ones. So here we go. As we'll count down with 15 seconds, we'll watch perched on the nose. Johnny the Ripper dealing with a bit of bounce. Nice steep section here. There's a really nice committed turn. That wrap that he does in a steep pocket with flow. Straight back into another. And so doing really nice work through an inside section in here. And if he can get a little runner here and get some nose riding done, who knows? We'll certainly ask a question right now. He's been pretty patient. A little bit of wobble and bounce. We'll lose a bit of height off this wave as the energy just dissipates down the cobbles there he goes up to the tip just steering from up there and i do a bit more work as well just a quick touch of that 10 well what he needed to do was get a wave and he did that he's still going as we gave him the thumbs up and let's go through this right now so it started off pretty shouldery and he just cruises into this so at first we thought kai gave him the wave good on you but then this hang 10 that's johnny's best nose ride so far in this heat and this turn, straight into this carve. Stays on the tail, rips it around. The wave kept providing opportunities for the Hawaiian, and he rips that one around. And just we thought, it's tapering off again. This wave hit the low tide inside here at Sunzal, and he was able to link some more turns with nose rides, and he gets one considerable hang 10. So he's definitely asking the questions here. A bit repetitive. Gets up onto the nose, 5, 10. Great board control. And very stable surfing through the inside. And he gets the clean finish. The judges have been rewarding that. Were you surprised to see Kai let him go this wave? I was. Yeah, 20 seconds remaining. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's going to be the score or not. You've just got to go. Just rode two waves. It was good enough for the scores. And another decent total of 14 points. We'll see Kai Salas set himself up to battle for a world title defense. He's going to be coming up against Taylor Jensen. Best of three match between those two. I see a lot of power, a lot of experience, and a good bit of rivalry going on there as well.